Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 4. Are you ready for Inner Outer Haven? Because I know I sure am. Let's head through the door. The first door that, that is presented to us once we get out, out of the elevator. I'm kind of glad I didn't walk through that door at the end of last episode. Because it looks like we went walking straight into a cutscene. Who we got? I see an awesome projectile globe up ahead. I'm always down for that. Oh, fuck. Surrounded by frogs. Great. We all know how I handled that last episode. Fucking frogs were destroying my ass. Meryl. Oh, there's Meryl. Wait. Is it actually Meryl? And the other question is, is she alive? If it is Meryl. Look at all these acrobatic ass frogs. Parkour way too much. Oh, they're not gonna expect me to take on all these bitches, are they? That's all oh, they are. Holy shit. Well then. Prepare to die, bitches. Oh fuck. Take out the enemy Whoa, I got flashbang super hard. Wrong button. I was trying to fucking grenade launch his ass. We're getting the buttons already. Not really, forgetting them so much as pressing the wrong ones. Reload, bitch. Haha. <laughs> my shit. Grenade, 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 grenade. Thank you. Reload all your shit. Oh, mother. Holy mother of God. Did I just get fucked up or what? Bitch face, man. Some of these bitches are just bitches. You know what I'm saying? Anybody else want some? Anybody else motherfucking want some? I'll be here all goddamn night, son. Oh, just use your solid eye. Suck on that, you little hoe. Oh, looks like we got plenty more on tap. You know what that means. We aiming closer. Bitches! Any more? Of course there's more. Why do I ask a dumb question like, is there more? If Meryl's in so much danger, how come I don't have a life bar I have to worry about for her? I probably need to worry about myself more. I'm fucking dying. It's alright. Let's keep my rations equipped. I won't be fine. Pop your head up, bitch. Pop it up! How come I can't hit her in the fucking face? I know those shots weren't in the face, but the first few I thought I hit him in the hit that bitch in the face. Alright, that one's down. Come up there. Sucks to be you. Any more? Of course there's more. Why would I be done? That would be too convenient if I was done, wouldn't it? Bitch. I gotta say, as terrible as I am doing, I've been hit. Oh, goddammit. Except for that fucking shot right there. Push it, this one in front of me. No, no, no. Damn, there to kill me once. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh my god. Can we? I am. I am not using cover. It's my own fault for not using cover. You guys can be as mad as you want at me. I should be fucking mad at myself for not using cover. Bitch. Grenade launcher is like the way to go against these bitches. It's just instant death. Oh, 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 I think that one hit her in the face. Sucks. You and you and... Oh, no. No, no, you can't be alive. You were supposed to be dead. All of you. I fucking blew a grenade right up next to you. What the hell? Fucking get off the roof. Oh my god, I just blew myself up. Fucking great. <laughs> ah, twitching off the wall. I always love the hang the what do you call it? The ragdoll physics. I always find that to be fun. Like, have you ever if you've ever played Fallout 3, that's like the most major fucking ragdoll physics I can think of. Well, maybe not the most, but the one that comes to my mind first. Anyway, we crispied the shadow, all those bitches. It wasn't too bad, even though I wasn't taking cover like I should have most of the time. Snake. Huh. Is Meryl dead, or is she just knocked out? She's not even bleeding anywhere, is she? I don't see one, one spot of blood. Not a one. I know her ankle's fucked up. Oh. You know what's happening? 
I think we're about to fight us a mantis. I was just about to say, I think I remember something like this already happening. Yeah, where the, the soldier couldn't control himself. Wait a second. Don't make me fight Meryl. If I end up having to fight Meryl, I'm going to be pissed. Like, and fight, like, literally fight her. Let's cut those strings. Just look up and shoot. Is it not? Is the psycho bitch ain't is not right above us? Oh, she's gonna have her kill herself. No. Oh. 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 What? Who? Huh? Is it Johnny? Motherfucking Johnny. Saved her ass. Good. Good. Now get the hell out of here. What? Oh, fuck. Watch out! Watch out! Oh, damn. Damn. Johnny just got fucked up. Saved Meryl's ass two times in, in within seconds. The screaming mantis. Oh shit, I pressed X too late. My bad. I saw it though. I didn't realize it until it was too late. Damn. No, don't get her again. Stop it. No, Janny. No. Johnny's so dead. I see. This bitch is way more creepy than Psycho Mantis, because she's all like got these crazy ass mantis arms and stuff. Psycho Mantis was, was just Psycho Mantis was just a dude. Like well, sort of. She just has his like look. Oh my god. Oh, no, we can't kill Meryl. Don't all right, we have to watch Meryl's Meryl's life though. Oh shit. You're trying to get me? Fuck that. Fuck that. You I see the strings. Oh hell no. Fuck that. Oh my god, she's making me so I can't shoot at her. Ah! Ah! No! No, not this again! Not this again! Oh no, not this again. Oh no. God, don't start this with this. Don't don't do this to me again. How do I get her? Oh my god. This this is happening again. This is gonna be Psycho Mantis battle all over. How do I get her? Alright. Alright, Otakon, please tell me you have some idea of what to do. Don't fuck this up to you, bitch. Snake, this beast. Yeah, I learned that already. What can I do about it? Manipulates others into doing the fighting for her. Yeah. Seems to kick in when you get hit by that creepy ghost thing. Be careful you don't get jerked around too, okay? Yeah, be careful about it. Fuck, but that doesn't give me. That's not a tip. That beast is the only thing standing between you. Oh my God, you aren't even gonna give me a tip. Oh, well, guys, prepare for an entire episode of figuring this bitch out. All right, so that's not gonna work. Okay, first of all, we need ammo for my gun. Even if this isn't the right gun, I want to be able to have this gun at my disposal. So let's get some ammo for it, cause we needs it. We are in dire needs of it. I got enough weapon for the fucking rest of the game, or weapon. Enough drebbin points to buy fucking just about everything I would ever want. So just load up. All right. So do I have to kill off her little friends, maybe? Let's try blowing up one of them. I don't know if that's gonna nasty. Nah, I didn't do anything. Now it's just shooting back at me. Okay. Huh. What do I do? do I shoot the little ghost thing. I feel like I shot right at her. And again, she might be fucking with my mind, and I'm not even actually shooting at her at all. Can't. Come on. 
you like that looks like a hitter. And you can't tell me it didn't look like I hit her. This weapon is useless. Alright. Uh What would be a good weapon against this bitch? Oh my god, I'm I I I I Do I have anything that seems like it would be good for this hoe? Besides a machine gun? Shotguns too far away, would the railgun be good? Explosives don't seem to be a good idea either. Something that locks on, maybe? Maybe something that locks on? Let's, uh, I, I wouldn't think we could use a javelin on her. Portable, what, let's try this one. I don't even, I, honestly, I don't know which ones lock on. I, I'm, I'm sure a javelin does. Does this thing lock on? See, that didn't fucking do anything. I didn't think so. I was just like, something that locks on seems like a good idea. But, ah, fucking A. You can't shoot javelins inside. That doesn't even seem realistic. Does that even seem realistic to you? It doesn't seem realistic to me. It doesn't even lock on. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't lock on. It fires like fucking weird... I don't think it's gonna work. Okay. Maybe we should just try the friggin' railgun. Yeah. What the hell? I guess it can't hurt to try the railgun. Let it charge up if it works. Let it, let it jerk us around a little bit. And then we. Aw, oh, damn it. Pulled me right when I was gonna fire. Come on. Can I get her? moved okay okay maybe the okay hold on let me let me see if this works I'm just trying to find something that works like to help me out cuz I can't I don't I don't see what could work yeah I don't see this working either I'm just back out what the hell will work against this girl fuck man I'm trying to think I I gotta move around some more or something. There's no controller. I mean, I could technically move my controller into a second port. There's no way that they would do that to me again, would they? Make me change my controller to the second port? Would they do that, like, a second time? They wouldn't do that, would they? This weapon is useless. Honestly, I'm at a loss. I'm trying to think, what can I do? I'm like uh, racking my brain. Maybe. Okay, if we hide, can maybe we. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, motherfucker. Do I use this? I used the syringe on myself. If the syringe is... Oh, don't tell me that was it. Using the syringe on myself is enough? Well, I... I mean, I shot her. Oh, shoot the little ghost things. Okay. Don't shoot her. Shoot the ghost things. Alright, why I didn't try the, to do that on myself, I don't know. I was trying to think of what I could do to her instead of trying to think what I could do to stop this bitch from hurting me. How do I hurt her, though? Uh-oh, what's happening now? What are you doing now, now that we've solved the riddle of not being a puppet? No, stop it. Don't make Meryl your shield. That's not cool. Stop it. Can we maybe... Help, Meryl? Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I was just thinking that myself. How come I'm not actually hurting her? Ah, fuck off. Can we, can we like, use this Dano Machine thing on these guys? I'm gonna try it. I'm 
shit, he's hugging me. He's hugging me! I was gonna try to CQC her. There we go. Yeah! Eat that one. See, that's all you gotta do. Aw, oh, yeah. One, well, once I learned how to do it to Vamp, it seemed, it seemed like it makes sense to do it to, to, do it to save her. Now, how the fuck do I hurt Psycho? The, the, the Psycho-ass Screaming Mantis bitch. I've been trying. I've, I, nothing seems to hurt her. I can hit her directly as much as I want. I'm trying to take out her little homies. I don't got the aim for that shit, though. Maybe I gotta take out all her little lackeys first? I don't know. So I'm just gonna do what I can do and hopefully it all ends up working. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my god, that is some scary shit right there. What the fuck do I do to hurt her? I've solved the riddle of how to like get around not getting hurt by her, but I can't figure out how to hurt her. There's probably more to this. Just gotta keep it. It's a war of attrition. It's a war of attrition. Nope, shotgun right. Oh. I mean, I, oh, God damn it. She woke Meryl back up. God damn it. Do we have to go to a cutscene every time she does it? I suppose so. Oh no. Oh no. 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 How do we how do we stop this? Do we have to like carefully shoot the gun out of Meryl's hand? I don't know if that works. I guess it worked for the moment. Get the syringe out and CQC. Yes. Don't worry, Meryl, I got you. You can bring all your little homies to try to gang rape me all you want, bitch. How the hell do I hurt her, though? This is really annoying me. I, I mean, I imagine I have to hurt her little fucking dolls. Like, I get that part of it. I understand that I have to hurt her dolls. I just don't get... How do I... Do I just have to aim better? My, is my aim terrible? Is that all it is? So I'm fucking shooting dolls. Shooting the dolls has not really been an issue. Maybe I have to destroy them completely? I'm shooting them. Ugh, God damn it, get off of me. I'm trying to fight here. I'm a busy, I'm a busy bee right now. Fuck off. So much streaming going on right now. Oh my god. Get off of me. Get off of me. Get off me. I I I know the commentary, we're like not even talking anymore. That's because I'm just like I'm honestly just trying to figure out all that I can right now. I'm just shooting those little dolls as much as I can. Yes! Yes, your doll! Shit. Oh, we grab it. Okay. I was wondering if that was going to be the case. Alright. Now that we know we have to grab that shit. Alright. That's different. Grab it. How do I grab it? Oh, cool. I got it. The puppet held by Scream Answer in your left hand. Radiates an evil arm. Blah, blah, blah. Ready it with L1. L1? Oh, okay. Release the ghost with R1. Okay, so it's a weapon thing. Ooh, we use our own shit against her. I'm down for that. Okay. Let's get that shit out. Let's get that sorrow doll out and use that shit. Fuck your shit, sorrow doll time, bitch. Snake. Oh yeah. Suck this shit, bitch. Ha! A duke and dead her ass. She dodged that shit though. Why is it useless? I don't see why that. Oh, sh damn it. This bitch is back up attacking me again. Hold on. No, oh, that. Ooh, that was not what I was going for, but you know what? That worked. Oh, she got right back up. That wasn't what I was going for. I was trying to grab her so I could see if you see her. God damn it. Quit hugging me, Meryl. This is not the time. This is not the time to be hugging me. I'm kind of busy here. Damn. Meryl, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. There we go. No. There we go. That's all we need to do. Lay your ass down, Meryl. 
Alright. So now that we got the shadow doll, do we have to take out the do we have to have the other doll too to really do anything? Alright, something tells me we gotta take out the other doll before we can do that. So let's do that first. Let's knock that other doll out of her hand. Oh boy. Holy shit, she was still going after me? Damn, I thought dodging her once was enough. Yes, we got it. Get it. Where'd it land? Get it. Oh, get it. Get it. Yes, we got both dolls. Now, how does this one work? Same thing? Release the ghost. Okay, cool. Let's get the other one equipped as well, and we won't need the... Yeah, we'll leave the shotgun off. Shadow doll, mantis doll. Oh, okay, I see. One is for... One is for taking out her stamina, and the other one's for taking out uh, actual damage. All right, let's try it. Oh, no, that didn't work. Did hit the bitch already? L1, whoa, 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 what? What? Shake the controller. What, what am I doing? What am I supposed to do? I, I saw the command. I didn't know what to do. I did some damage to it for once, though. I'm not sure what that exactly means, but we're finally doing damage. We're finally doing damage! Do I hold L1 and pull it towards me? What? How do I... I'm trying. Oh, I'm doing damage. Oh, my God. I just... Did I just kill her? Holy shit. That is some damage. That was fucking awesome. That was probably the most innovative battle yet. Like, I thought the original Psycho Mantis battle was innovative. That shit was confusing, and you couldn't use any weapons, see? That's how you do a boss battle right? You can't blame me for how I fought those stupid crying wolf if I can... This battle was made me not be able to do whatever I wanted, okay? It dictated the battle for me. The fact that I killed the crying wolf the way I did, you should, you should still not be mad at me for that. They shouldn't let me use all those weapons if they don't want me to use them. Anyway, that was fucking awesome. Oh my god. Whew. Jeez. That was... I was having a mini panic attack for the first ten minutes of that battle, trying to figure out what the hell is going on. <laughs> all her arms are just flying off. That's not creepy at all. Well... I guess that was the last of the beezies. We get to take them down just like we did the other three, and that'll be it, huh? Whoa. 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 Well, we kind of saw a glimpse of her face a little bit. Let's see how uh, she actually looks. <laughs> Good angle on the camera, by the way. <laughs> uh, yep. Another contortionist. What race is this one going to be? This one sounds more like crying than the last one did. This one's... Even though this one's supposed to be screaming. Do a good job with the camera angles until you actually see their full on, straight on face shot. What the hell? Leaping around, you crazy beezy. Jeez. She's like, her, whoa. Just whoa. She's looking all jiggly, to say the least. Way more so than the last, the first three. Oh yeah? They always do. We can fix that. That's, uh, yeah, she's looking extra jiggly. What is up with that? How come the other ones weren't that jiggly?
comes the finishing blow as usual, where they walk at me and I do my thing. Is that? I'm sure it, that's exactly what's happening here, right? Don't you worry, we got you. We will oblige. Let's, let's go ahead and just oblige this bitch, and then we can hear her backstory from Draven as usual. Down she goes, and fire, 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 right in her supple thighs. Come on. We're almost done here. One more, and she should be done. I got her. Okay. See you later, Screaming BZ. I hardly knew thee, but goddamn was that an epic battle, though. Man, I'm, I'm going to be thinking about that one for a while. I bet he... Yeah, that immediately just became my favorite battle in the game. I know, I know. I said the mech battle from last the last couple episodes was amazing, and it was. But in terms of difficulty and being able to figure out how to do the boss battles, that's how you fucking do it. I'll give Vamp the one with Vamp was also pretty good in the, ten in the sense that I had to figure out how to finish him. That was cool too, but the battle was meh. This one was good because it was like each piece of the puzzle you had to figure out, and I liked that. I really do. I know you can't do that with every boss. You have to make them varied a little bit. But man, that was a boss battle. Just saying. If there's going to be a better one, well, I don't know if I'm prepared for that. But at this point, that was my favorite one. So don't bother asking me unless something else changes my mind by the end of the game. Because that was automatically favorite one. What the fuck? Where, where, um, mm, somebody got a, a magnet for her arms? What the hell? I mean, what the fuck? How'd the suit come back together? What the? What the? What? What is happening? What? Psycho Mantis? You can't be alive! What? No! Are we not done? Oh, God. Oh my god, now I'm even more excited. Well, that's disappointing. It's on the PlayStation, bitch. There's no memory cards. Ha 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 ha. Oh, come on. This is cool, but man. <laughs> and that's probably not going to work any. No. Nope. Not happening, bro. I didn't do it. Let's see if he does it. I'm waiting for the vibrations. And yes. He's doing it. Oh, but he only did it a little bit. Aw, oh, he's not as good as he used to be. He is moving it a little bit. But he kind of sucks at it. Well, even though I was all ready for an epic moment there. <laughs> yeah, he failed at it. It was awesome. Don't get me wrong. That was awesome for him to keep trying. Aw. Oh. I guess we're gonna truly defeat Psycho Mantis. I guess that's what that means. Man, that was that was pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, unexpected and pretty cool. All right, Drebin's gonna tell us all about that bitch. That's what I'm here for, bruh. Oh, that's that's true. Now that we got those dolls, we can use them on people. She was born and raised in a country racked by never-ending civil wars. Her village was attacked by enemy forces and burned to the That's ground. what every story was. Her village was attacked. She was still a little girl. Hunted by enemy death squads, she was separated from her family. She barely managed to escape with her life. Ended up in the basement of this one building. It was full of corpses that had been dumped there. 
almost all of them had been tortured to death. She was petrified with fear. And then, she heard the sound of heavy boots on the floor above her, followed by shrieking screams, the kind that would make every hair on your body stand straight up. She had stumbled across a makeshift torture chamber. Somebody locked the door, and she was trapped. It was dark, it was dank, and it was full of a wretched stench. She couldn't sleep with the screams of torture victims all around her. All she could do was sit curled up in one corner of the room, trembling. A week passed, then ten days. She managed to keep hydrated by drinking the filthy water pooled up on the floor, but there was no food. Being trapped in that kind of place, half crazy from hunger, did a serious number on her mind. Do you know female mantises eat their mates? The screams went on day and night. She covered her ears, but it didn't help. And then, she was saved. By a little black mantis that taught her how to block out the screams, how to plug up her inner ears. What the hell are you talking about? I'm saying, Snake, that when she couldn't stand the hunger any longer, she started feeding on the corpses. But only the male ones. Huh. She wow. She didn't realize who was doing it. In her mind, it was a female mantis devouring her mates. It was like one big twisted waking dream. There was no mantis, of course. It was all a hallucination. Nothing more than some story spun by... This was definitely the most morbid design. one, I'll tell you that much. Her unstable mind was what made her so vulnerable. Later, they ripped out what was left of her psyche with drugs and hypnosis, and implanted the persona of Psycho Mantis. It wasn't her will that controlled the B&Bs. It was Psycho Mantis, half assimilated into her soul. Oh, that makes Psychomantis everlastingly badass. Aw, oh, yeah. Anyway, she survived several weeks down in that hellhole and finally got back to the surface. But the screams in her head didn't subside. They would always be with her. Only this time, they weren't real. The inner earplugs didn't work anymore. The Black Mantis had disappeared. There was no place left to escape. Which is why she was always screaming. To drown out the ones in her own head. But it's over now. You freed Mantis from that dark nightmare. The last of them beasts. You got it, pal. No more double Bs to take out or double Ds. Now get going. GW is waiting. And this time, you get to make up the ending. Oh yeah. Do we at least get to check on Meryl real quick? Because she was all fucked up at, by the end of that. And Johnny, too. It showed him with little stars over his head, but it, I thought he was going to be dead. Yeah, I was about to say, we better check on Meryl. Can't just move on without seeing if Meryl's all good. Where's Johnny? Uh, not so good. Shit. More frogs. Well, if Johnny's body isn't laying where we left it, then he must be okay. They're here. But it doesn't matter if they're here. You still got your gun arm good. You're good. Resolute to die as well, huh? 
Well, can't really stop her. We're busy trying to save the world here. Go! Just go! Oh boy. Where's Janny at? Janny better show up to help her. Come on, Johnny. You got this. She's got three clips. Do it. Okay, but now we're in the microwave. This is going to be fun. But you know what we're going to do in the microwave? We're going to take a break in the microwave. So, in between episodes, I'm going to chill out in the microwave and have fun, become, get some testicular cancer. And like it matters, snake's already gonna die, so it doesn't matter. So, I will see you guys next time. Cuppies.